Welcome everybody to the Random Reviews channel, AKA this is super random. Today I'm gonna be talking about one of the fun items that I've purchased that I had to get duplicates of with a story behind it. So this is the TPT slide by a company called Big Design. This is not sponsored. I did purchase these joints. As a matter of fact, I purchased this one pre-owned because I thought I lost this one. This was the first one that I bought because I thought it was super dope looking and it's part of this YouTuber, Big Damn EDC, who actually put me on. I was looking for a small compact box cutter type everyday carry piece. Now I'm Cuban, I carry knives on the regular. I, I just say paranoia. I love weaponry, sharp, all kinds of manly junk. I appreciate. So this was something that really caught my attention when I saw it on their channel and I was like, hey, why not? So before we jump into some specifications and some real world stuff, welcome to the Random Reviews Show and get ready to see some random shit. Welcome everyone to the Random Review Show. My name is Kuba. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, and sharing. Do it as we speak. This is the first video that I'm doing on this channel as I have two other channels if you're into men's fragrance or into men's jewelry. You can like, subscribe. The links will be in the description for you guys to check out. But I'm a reviewer at heart. I like to buy. I have a spending problem. So these are parts of my spending therapeutic purchases. So I saw these pieces and I was like, you know what? I'm constantly constantly buying, shipping, sending, and breaking down boxes because the recycle bin just gets on my nerves. So when I saw this, I was like, this is perfect. Look how tiny this freaking thing is comparative to my hands, and I have feminine ass hands. So this joint is absolutely tiny. It measures approximately, what, three inches in length? Sounds familiar. Where is it? And it's essentially a mini pocket utility knife. It's got a really easy push out system with a couple of clicks, as you can hear, it's very audible. One setting, two settings. Very cool, it did not come with this particular type of blade, it came in this type of presentation. So here's the boxing and the whole kit. This is the pre-owned box that I purchased, but it'll show you the stuff that's inside. TPT, slide, graphite, titanium pocket tool. And then you slide it out and it comes out with these little things. It's got like a, you know, support us. Nope. A big idea sticker. Thank you for touching my ass, whatever. Uh, an instruction manual, which I mean, I never use these things. And it comes with this safety carry insert, which is a very unique piece of equipment. And I'll show you why in a second. And it comes with this funky handy carrying case that feels like leather. This is beautiful. What is that velvet? But I don't know if it really is practical. Like it's got a really tight, tight hole here and it does fit but it's I don't know it doesn't really have a purpose no clip here other than you're gonna pull it from the string but it's got this little cool carrying pouch with the actual safety knife that it came with which is this piece right here so this has multiple uses I don't know exactly what they are and to be honest with you I probably will never use it but allegedly some people even use this as a fork like you put it inside and use this to eat food you are a barbarian but this is also a safety knife which doesn't cut and isn't very sharp on the fingers, but if you're gonna use it, let's say for example, to cut one of my cards up, eh, it's supposed to be good for opening boxes or cutting the tape or letter opening type, but it ain't sharp like that. Like, it ain't really doing much here. Not like a real deal knife. If I run this piece up, we already know what time it is. You even heard it's very audible. So that's why I automatically, right from jump, rip this joint out. And let's be honest, to replace this little blade is a pain in the balls and I'll show you more entirely. But let's talk about some of the features that are on this joint. First, it comes this little lanyard, which I tried to burn the ends together so it doesn't unravel. And guess what? I failed. But the website lists the features as a one-handed operation, which it absolutely is. Removable pocket clip. This removable pocket clip was a pain in the balls. It does not hold tension very well. It is easy to open. There's a couple of screws over here that you can open up and kind of bend it. But there's also a little piece, this, I mean, microscopic little T-cylinder thing that goes in between to hold this piece together that if you lose it, you're completely done. And trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Luckily, Big Ideas customer service was amazing and they sent me one for free, which helped me 
tighten this puppy back and put it back together. I don't even want to open this thing. That's how much of a pain in the balls it was. Back to the cool features of this joint. This joint is a bottle opener too. So these teeth right here, pop bottle opener, which I've used a few times. Not that I have a drinking problem, but I enjoy drinking a little bit. <laughs> This piece can be used for a flathead screwdriver as well as like a mini pry bar, some sort of scraper type edge. This piece right here is a six millimeter hex bit for whatever you're looking to torque at the moment. I don't know why you would use this particular piece, but listen, it could come handy in a clutch. Apparently this is like a 550 paracord lanyard, which means nothing to me because I am a New York City dude. What am I using a lanyard for? The only time I remember lanyard is when we used to wrap these in a Jansport book bag back in the days and it used to get stolen. Throwback for all you urban transplants. And honestly, whatever you think you can get creative with you can probably do it with this damn thing it's a grade 5 titanium alloy it's stainless steel insert and as mentioned it's about three inches long about an inch high and about nine millimeters thick with this clip the joint only weighs 28 grams it weighs next to nothing but my con with this whole thing and it really takes some time is to remove and replace this freaking blade you damn near gotta be a sacrificial lamb to be willing to lose the tip of your finger, a nail, be called nubby. It was a movie. So I'll try to show you guys and see if I could even do it on camera because it was truly obnoxious and honestly the only downside to having this piece as I've used it so much and when I thought I lost it, I had a stroke so I purchased another one. This is the matte black finish and it comes with leather lanyard and this little piece here which actually seems a lot more practical than this paracord joint. Very sleek, very sexy. I got this one certified pre-owned off of eBay. This is how much I loved it that I bought a backup one used just to have it because it came in so clutch. Now let me see if I can show you guys how to remove this piece and bear with me. It could take a month or so. I might have to speed it up or maybe I've become an expert. So again, it has a couple of different clicks. So you press down a little bit. One, two, and that's it. But essentially what you have to do is press down and try to get it. There's like a, I mean, half a millimeter of a movement forward, right? So you gotta press down, hold forward, take the tip, twist. Holy shit, I did it like an expert. And you see how it kind of splits apart. You see how it splits open a little bit. And then you can slide it out. Take this bullshit blade put it in or your replacement blade. I'm gonna put this one back in, but you see one side is a little bit used and the other one is damn near new. So let's flip it over so we can use a new side. But first, slide it in, kind of shimmy it a little bit until it clicks and then you're golden. Wow, it may, I've talked all this crap and it was easier to do. That's because I've become an expert. Trust me, it takes a minute, but now you could just use two sides of the blade and that blade will last you however long, depending on how much you use this thing. But honestly, this thing is freaking awesome. Again, this isn't a sponsored video. These are purchases of my own. And I truly endorse this joint. And it made me realize that this company does do really good quality pieces and has a lot of interesting shit that I want to check out, like everyday carry pens, pencils. I believe they even do watches and more pocket tools. So that's pretty dope. Shout out to Big Idea Design. And if you guys are looking for a dope everyday small carry joint, Definitely look into this. If you're a dude who opens up packages all the time, or if you're a young lady who orders from Amazon 16 dimes a day because you got Prime and you're like, I'm getting my Prime's money worth, this is definitely something you guys should look into. Thank you for checking out my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check out all my other videos and other other contents. And if you want more videos of random reviews, leave it in the comments below. Check me out, guys. Smooches. Who the fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tack when it's time to call back. For the rough brother than raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you